So, um, yeah, I think we can get started.、Um, welcome, everybody.、Uh, I think you all know me, but、um, my name is Brian Lee. I'm the curator at Omiseo. And、um, I'm really happy to be doing this very strange virtual event with you all.、Um, actually, the Buffalo Public Schools show last year was one of our last real big in person events、um, before we went to you know, lockdown and quarantine during the pandemic. So,、um, so I'm happy that we can still、uh, be together in a weird virtual room today. Um, and thank you to Michelle Augusto、um, for your partnership and friendship over so many years.、Uh, we look forward to you know, being back with you in person. But this year,、um, we decided to do a kind of a virtual get together with the teachers and students where we might have、um, hung the teachers and students' work side by side in our gallery、um, during the regular show.、Uh, I decided to go virtual this year by having teachers do.、Um, Exquisite corpse style drawings,、um, and some of them are really quite、uh, stretching the definition of drawing, as you will see, with their students.、Um, so, in a way that they could、um, work together and have that kind of proximity、um, while being apart.、Um, so, I don't know, Michelle, if you have anything you'd like to add. Yeah, no, I mean, when we, you know, Brian and I, you know, Elmo Seo and Brian, we all have been great partners、um, to the Buffalo Public Schools, and we're just so happy that we can continue this work. And it was Elmo Seo, the last, our last BPS art show was at Elmo Seo. And, it may, you know, I look back on those pictures and, <laughs> you know, I, I, I long for those days again, you know, all these happy smiles and crowded spaces, you know. But,、um, but we, didn't, uh, we didn't let that stop us. And Brian and I wanted to make sure that we continued the partnership and we came up with this concept of rebound. And we had hoped that we'd be live, but that didn't work out. But this, this is it's a perfect term for what's going on with、um, our schools and our, our students and our teachers and our community. So、um, just fits perfectly. And when Brian and I were brainstorming, And I'm like, what are we gonna do? <laughs> He's like, exquisite corpse. And I'm like, all right. <laughs> and we went for it. And I was so excited to see so many of my teachers take to it. So、um, thank you for always for the opportunity,、um, Brian. And、um, we love working with you. And can't wait to see another one next year live. <laughs> well, yes.、Um, yeah. So today we have、um, two special guests joining us.、Um, I will. Let them introduce themselves,、um, starting with Dana. Hello, everyone.、Um, I'm Dana Fisher. I'm the progr- programming coordinator at Locust Street Art.、Um, it's a nonprofit in the Fruit Belt, and we do free art classes. So、um, there's classes for kids and adults, ages four and up. We have everything from ceramics, animation, drawing and painting. Um, free classes. We have classes going on right now, and you can jump in anytime if you're interested.、Um, but yeah, I'm so excited to be here. One of the things I miss the most is being able to poke into the classrooms and look at their artwork. So it's so nice. Thank you for having me. And oh, I should, I、uh, forgot to mention, and you have to tell us、um, one fun fact about yourself. Oh, okay. <laughs> One fun fact. Let's see. Oh, gosh.、Um, you know, this might、hands. be weird, but I, well, it's not that weird. It's weird to me.、Uh, I've never had a pet, and I thought I hated cats. My husband talked us into getting a cat recently, and now I'm obsessed. And I understand everyone who has a cat. I get it. <laughs> it's amazing. I, it's changed my life. I get it. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Dana. You're welcome. I agree.、Um, and、uh, Vicente. Hi there. My name is Vicente Rondon, and I'm the Art Truck Program Coordinator at the Albright Knox Art Gallery.、Um, the Art Truck is a pretty new initiative、uh, based around delivering art supplies and art activities to different community centers, organizations, and also schools in the Western New York area. So it's my job to visit all counties within Western New York to bring art fun. And、um, that's Pretty much made possible by Blue Cross Blue Shield, which is pretty cool. 
Um, but I really do enjoy my job because I get to go to different neighborhoods and different communities to uh, bring art fun and I get to be the fun guy that drives a truck around. Um, and when it comes to one fun fact about myself, I give you a couple. I've never broken a bone and I've been attacked up by a red winged blackbird on four occasions in the same place in four different years. Oh my. There we go. <laughs> That's a true did story. something. <laughs> yeah, I feel like I did something in like a past. He remembers you. But every time I run on the pedestrian bridge right behind uh, the, the Peace Bridge, um, Red Wing Blackbird always comes down, scoops me down in the head. It's terrible. It's traumatizing. It is. It is. It is. <laughs> he says it with a smile. <laughs> terrible. All right. Thank you. And uh, Michelle, I think you have to introduce yourself as well. Oh, I, I already... a fun fact about you. Oh, yeah. Well, I'm officially on the Buffalo Public Schools Director of Arts. I've, I've said enough, but fun fact about me is um, <clears throat> that I've never gotten attacked the way he said that. <laughs> and I've also never broken a bone. So, knock on wood somewhere. <laughs> wow. So, what about me? I have a cat, have not broken a bone and have not been attacked by a red wing blackbird. Very good. <laughs> I love it. So with that, we will just get started. Um, so um, I'll start showing the works in order on my screen. They're not ordered in any special way, um, just the way, the order in which they came in. So um, we have uh, 22 pieces this year. And so the format that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show um, each piece on screen for 30 seconds with uh, no label and then 30 seconds with the names of the teachers and students who created the piece and um, our guest critics and us will just have a chat about each piece and I might throw in a few prompts here and there and um, I encourage um, teachers and guests to join in in the chat uh, feel free to throw things out in the chat and uh, we'll just have fun with it all right, are we ready? Mm -hmm. All right, let's go. Number one. 30 seconds. Now, uh, adjective. <clears throat> Energetic. Wiggly. <laughs> Green. Moving. <laughs> I guess green is not an adjective. I take no. that back. <laughs> yeah. You went against your own rule. <laughs> I can can I say something? Yeah, say whatever you like. I love the, I think what I think is an ice cream cone on the side to the on the shoulder of the creature. And I, I love that. <laughs> I, I'm sad that it's upside down. Because that means it probably fell. But I love that it's kind of sitting up there. It's kind of neat. I like the inclusion of what I'm perceiving as uh, earrings or bolts in the neck. Mm. Enjoy that. And I also like the, uh, the flowy, like, gloobiness of the arms because it's like they have no bones inside of them. Yeah. Very creative. Yes. It's cool how there's a story being told in creature's legs <laughs> yes i think that's i think that's the uh, among us video game yeah um mm. yeah okay all right, all right. I, I broke my rule this is the first one but we gotta go faster so okay. let's go we can do that <laughs> Ooh. Oh. legs being so large in this and including eyes really really gets me i see mc hammer I'm, I see like this incredible depth from, I don't even know if it was intentional, but it's, it's really cool how big the hands are mm -hmm. and how small the head is. It kind of feels like. Yeah, it kind of skews the scale of. And the I pattern see. and the sweater is great. I still see dancing. I just like oh, this yeah. quickly on the bottom. I mean, I see, I see hammer move, but I love the skew. Yeah. Like, it's just fun. It is a fun piece. Yeah, great piece. Some piece, perhaps we might say, dynamic perspective. Yes, yes, I'm going to type that. 
All right, moving on. Oh, <laughs> there's so much happening. Oh. But why is there sadness? It's well, he's on the world. Depending on a globe, yeah. It's yeah. On the globe. Like, all the trauma, right? Like trauma, but like puppies always make you happy. So there, trying to stay positive, but there's a sadness in the, you know, that's weighing him down a little bit. Oh. It's that's that's kind of interesting because there is like there, I do see a lot of sadness in this, but also I'm noticing that there there are a lot of happy things like a yeah. puppy and also the the pizza. I was gonna say I'm like pizza's not sad. No. And I have those uh those squiggly lines and the and the dots as lights like Christmas lights almost. Oh yeah. You get a lot of joy in this. This is a little Maybe bit of he a mystery. ate too much pizza, <laughs> and that's that's why that's that face. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Uh, all right, five seconds. Three, right. two, one. All right. Ooh. Yeah. Groovy. The of crab claws. Crab claw. I love the blue hair, though. It's solid. I love it. I love it. It's like a Have any of you ever had blue hair? I have. Surprise. <laughs> I'd like to have blue hair one day. You should. You can, you can hold it. I love the, again, the arms. Like, oh, I love the title, wrap it up, you know? The way that they're, like, the way that the arms are flowing almost makes me feel like they're moving as is. And I really want to keep on, like, just pummeling through my own arms. This is yes. fun. And the claws is an interesting thing. Because, you know, you want to, like, crack, grab onto something or, you know, grip. Very interesting. I love it. Oh, Katie had pink hair. She just wants us to know. <laughs> the pose is the pose of the thing is really fun. Mm -hmm. Oh yes. Almost like modeling off the boots. Mm -hmm. Easing. Yes, I love it. I like the little eyelash detail. Yes. Do you think her eyes are closed? I think she's smiling. Yeah. I love how empowered this face is. There's no hair. Um, yeah. Like, I don't need any hair. I, I, got, my, I, I got my lashes. I'm good. Yeah. And the, <laughs> the figure in the shirt also has no hair. It's like, we don't yeah. need this. I, like, <laughs> I love it. I'm with the show. I like it. <laughs> I'm with the show. I think that's what we all hope to do. Yes. Yes. Soon. Yes. Oh, these are great. I like the K, and I really like the the digital words that a lot of uh, a lot of uh, teachers did with us mm -hmm. this year. It's really um, a fun medium. Yes. Wow. Cool. Oh, here we go. I love the different colors of hair. That makes it pop a lot more. That's oh, so yeah. Cool. Katie likes there that. There is some hair. pink hair. <laughs> I mean, I love the crown. She's the queen. Yeah, she's a queen. How the could you having choose? a good conversation with those pants too, which is pretty cool. Yeah, I brought me right back to the eighties. Those Shaky pants. That's <laughs> I love the title. <laughs> I love it. I love it. That's great. Like that is the colors are very eighties, aren't they? Very much. It's a little style. Even though like the, the shoes, I don't know, there's something real retro about it, but I love it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I love like it. Like the colors of a bowling ball. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I could see that. Oh, we're moving on. Oh, fun. Now that's cool. Yeah, this is like really digital cool. and hand drawn. I love it. The algae hands. Yes. Algae hands. And the hands. cloth feet. Yeah. I thought that the foot had busted out of the shoe. Oh, turning when it was turning into this. Like, there it is. I, I feel like that. this creature would have a hard time doing just about anything, like <laughs> holding anything, walking. <laughs> He's a swamp man. That's oh, nice. I love it. I love it. You all are looking at these way more closely than than I did when I was putting this all together. <laughs> I love sure. it. I, could, I love yeah. it. Can you imagine actually getting those pants on with those with those hands? <laughs> I don't, I think he either had a hard time getting his pants on or he's grown out of his shirt. You yes. know, like this is it. This is, yeah, I'm a swamp man now. 
Which is why there aren't that many fashion look. stores in the swamp. <laughs> oh, here we go. I like the translucent baby. <laughs> That's cool. Is that a baby? <laughs> so I imagine a kitty. That's what I see it as. I, I, I just I, thought it was like a power burst of sun. Okay. I didn't see it. I think it's more thing. magical, like not quite yeah. a baby because this is kind of a unicorn creature. A magical creature. Yeah. Yeah. So I, I, it's got to be more unicorn girl. There it is. I do I love the it. hair on this one too. Yeah. And the hair on this one is coming is out of the hair like magic, point. magic dust. Oh, I love that. If you sent that, I didn't even see that right away. I do love that. Yeah, the magic dust. I like I the like claws things. on the left, the left foot too. Mm -hmm. That is great. Nice That's touch. Nice Just in case. Nice job, with that. That's wonderful. Oh, here we go. Oh, oh right. Look at that. I love the springs. The springs. I like this. Do the springs have little people on them? They yes. look like they do. Cool. That is amazing. What yeah. a great idea. And so I'm, I'm not sure. I'm sorry for, I, I didn't mean to interrupt. I'm sorry, Dana. Oh, I was just saying a small comment. It's collage -y, like with the knees <laughs> and the head. Is, and I'm not, I, I'm, I'm trying to squint to see this, but is that Snoop Dogg in the knees? I, <laughs> it seems like a caricature of Snoop Dogg. Yeah, yeah. Check that out. There we go. Can you see what oh, I it, is, there? It, it does look like a caricature of Snoop. Hey, hey. <laughs> That's awesome. There it is, my <laughs> shizzle, my nizzle. <laughs> rebound. I love the spring for a rebound, I must say. Yes, exactly. That fits very perfectly. Oh, wow. You yeah, guys took a big risk with this one. This is <laughs> very risky, way. but it's really interesting. Yeah. I love the turtle look, but it almost is like a protective shield. Yeah. You know, like just to kind of ward off anyone. I do love that it's rainbow colored. The fact that they have flippers as well too for like the turtle, the turtle flipper. Mm -hmm. What is it called? But turtle power. Turtle power is a very interesting name for this. <laughs> and I like that there's an inclusion of huggies. You never know. Was there a sectional request? Because I'm noticing like a pattern a little bit. There is a pattern. Um, I think that this is the there are a lot of character ones, but it wasn't um, it wasn't a requirement. Okay. Yeah. Definitely. But I do it, love all these characters. Mm -hmm. We're getting into even even taller ones. Oh, I love this. I had a dream about this exact one one time. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> this, this is this is slightly frightening, slightly frightening, you know, but really interesting i don't know it's like yeah. i want to explore all the there's all something the about textures. it mm -hmm. there are a lot of textures here and to the artists that made this good job on a on inciting a, uh, a reaction yes 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 i love that oh board certainly of very textural I the color pencil. coming out of it from from the middle mm -hmm. whoa it's really fascinating. Yes. It's it's interesting. It has a lot of weird dreams. Yes. <laughs> but not about this monster. And I wonder if they like knew what they were like, you know, doing because they were very similar in style. And that particular one was very interesting. Oh. Every foot has a different shoe. <laughs> which is pretty awesome. It's <laughs> That's foot, foot, foot. It says something. There are words in there. There are words in there. There are words in there. I want to say pay. No, foot. I can't tell. Oh, foot. foot. Root. Oh. No, foot or root. Mm -hmm. And then I can't read the other one, but that's really cool that there are words in there. Tripod man. Yes, Katie. Definitely. Oh, Basquiat. You're right. That, that previous one was very Basquiat. You're right. Uh, but I love the sun, like, it's like devilish, but the sun is out, you know, that's kind of cool. The teeth detail. 
the sun. I like, do like the sun. Yeah. We got the sun and a crown. We had some nice resonances going through these. Oh. Now we're into something a little different. A little different. Very interesting. Pretty cool. Like three different scenes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I love trying to figure out what the story is. Mm -hmm. Is this another person, like, is this another world's perspective? And they're looking at like another earth? Possibly. Ooh. I possibly, I do love the unicorn and the, and the, and the, the dog there, which I knew was Tracy when I saw that dog. <laughs> <laughs> Tracy, I knew it was you. <laughs> I love the astronaut. I love the donut tree. And the donut tree, it's great. And the and background, the sky. Around. I love the sunset and the rainbow sky. I think it's just, that's so beautiful. Yeah. How much is this print? I love it. I love it. Tracy says this is ours. Each kid, each, each kid made a section and then they picked a different section to draw over. I love that. Yeah, so love all, that as you all can see, they're, um, not all of them are characters. Some of them are kind of interesting layered in this way. Love it, love it. Right. Wow. Oh wow. Uh, this one's very powerful. This is this is the the one we shared when we were sharing yeah. information. It's a great piece. Yeah. Again, a crown. I love the crown. I love pe people being kings and queens in here. And that part, that is gorgeous. That detail. Wow. I love how it just all came together so beautifully. Mm -hmm. This one's hot. Look at that. And I wonder what the symbolism is in the in the leaf in the hand. Looks like a robotic hand inside. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's called Warrior. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it almost looks like there's a um like a skin attachment to mm -hmm. a metal body. Yeah. Oh yeah, right here, like the plate, like a plate of flesh. Interesting. Yeah. Very interesting. I do love what, um, I don't know if this was teacher driven or student driven, but I do love how the, the uh, black and white piece is cut out. It's not just a rectangle, there's a shape to it. Yeah. And it's very intriguing and it kind of balances off with the, the crown. I just love how that fits together. It's, it's, it's juxtaposed beautifully, love it. Mm -hmm. yeah, this one definitely involves a high degree of coordination. Yeah, I love it. Oh, Michelle writes, this is the teacher. The students worked independently. They each picked what part they wanted. That's really cool. Excellent. Thank you, Michelle. Yes. All right. Oh, look at this. Oh, this is fascinating. Is this three or four pieces? I don't know. Wow, look Ooh. at that leg. A pigeon leg or something. But it's very strong. <laughs> it is. Oh, five. So this must be Lynn. She says five students worked on this. This is fascinating. Wow. Love that. A little shadow. Oh my goodness. That heart though. Lynn. Animal synergy. Love it. I love the title on this one. Yeah. The title's great. I love it. I love the Teletubbies almost feel with the TV. I think of the TV, yeah. <laughs> it's very Maybe cool. watch Teletubbies as a kid. Oh. I feel like it's a very weird show for a kid to watch. But... It really is a weird show. <laughs> it's very scary. <laughs> it's just, you know, it's very... I... Hi, look at that. That face. The inclusion of the Cleveland jersey is spot on. <laughs> that on that on that bird bottom is great. That. that bird actually that that is beautiful detail. They really thought about each feather and how they it's just beautifully done. Whoever did that really nice job. And those legs though, kind of like bird bird like club bones really kind of wild that cleveland jersey is a trip <laughs> that face yeah wow I see great that. expression on that 
Mm-hmm. Almost like the face of a man you can't trust. <laughs> Very much so. It's great. This is hey, great. Look at this. Wow. This is great. Look at that. Oh, look at that. She's mm-hmm. going right through the cone. <laughs> the legs at the bottom. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Somehow the lines still like trick your eye. I love it. There's a lot of, uh, and there's an understory in here. Someone grabbing this person, right? Taking, taking this person. Very interesting. Lots of. Yeah, so these, uh, this and the following uh, few are um, dance themed. Dance is the central element that runs through them. I'm so, so happy, our dance teacher. Yeah. Oh, that makes me happy. Go, Ms. Bates and Brown and crew. Nicely done. Yeah, I love this one. Mm-hmm. And the handbag that matches the texture of the ice cream cone. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, this one's silly. <laughs> this is great. Are, what are these animals called again? These aren't llamas. These are like baby... Alpacas? Like baby I alpacas. can never tell what the difference between alpaca and llama is. I don't know if someone in the chat knows. <laughs> <laughs> we have some really smart people out here. This is fun. Yeah. Uh-huh. I heard how her head is placed on this mannequin. It's actually really kind of, it's fun. And then suddenly it got disturbing. Right. You know what I mean? Like just placed on the mannequin, you know, interesting. Really. The little um, hand that's petting this uh, llama or alpaca on the left. Or grabbing it. Grabbing. Mm. That's what I see. Perhaps it's a metaphor for petting zoos. Mm. Plus she has blue hair, which is cool. Here we go. Look at those long legs. You know, you're flagging, you're going to come back. <laughs> I love the hand creeping out of the curtain. I don't know if they're putting the crown on or taking it out off. I think they're trying to steal it. Mm-hmm. Oh. Yeah. Another crown, I just noticed. Lots of crowns. It's fascinating. Very symbolic. Mm-hmm. Yes, yes. They're- there has been a lot of uh, news about royalty in, mm-hmm. in the That's past true. year or so, haven't there? That is true. Is that Dan Flavin? Katie asks. I don't know. It might be. But I think it might be a little too um, not fair enough for a Dan Flavin. Mm. I do like how they, they composed it. I don't know, there's a a nice composition there. Oh, look at this. Look at that. This is what everyone's going to be like this summer once we're all vaccinated, isn't it? Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Michelle says, I think surviving COVID, the COVID era deserves a crown. Yes. (laughs) (laughs) So true. (laughs) There's many jewels. (laughs) I love this. I love the weird proportion. Yeah. Uh, like this looks like a child, but then it's like a teen, young adult head. I don't know, there's really something interesting about that. You know? <laughs> I do like the water too, that blue kind of separating the two. It's kind of neat. What's one place you all would like to um, travel to um, when we can do that safely? Wow. Oh. In the country or outside of the country? Anywhere. That's a good question. Like a real place that we 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 want to that we know we could go to, or a place that we know we'll never go to, but we want to go to. <laughs> like Tahiti. <sighs> I'd like to go to Tahiti. Tahiti. Okay. <laughs> Toronto, Katie says. She can't wait to go to Toronto. Toronto. I love that she said Toronto because I wanted to go to that Van Gogh exhibit mm-hmm. and then coming here now. Mm-hmm. That's I'd true. I'd love to go to Toronto. Yeah. Hmm. Oh, this one. is wonderful. We have a couple landscapes to round out the weird. So I figured we could talk about travel. 
I was, I had actually had a dream this morning that I was tra- trying to travel to visit my family oh. in Malaysia. So. <laughs> so this is beautiful. Um, yeah. This one, I love how they're connected by this, by that, hori- that uh, yeah. horizon line. Like it's just beautifully done. I think this is Alyssa's. Alyssa Alyssa writes, I shared with the kids a book called The Exquisite Book that has drawings by 100 different artists that are all connected by a leading line. We wanted to make our own landscape connected by the same line. This is beautiful. I love Really nicely done. The textures in this are wonderful with some of the googly eyes that are coming through. Oh my gosh. These, These are nice. Yeah, this is really beautiful. I see a couple connecting lines and it's just... It's so fun to see how things mesh together. Mm-hmm. Oh, this is a great piece. I hope that I got the, the order of names correctly. It looks like I may have not. Uh, that's... Sorry, Alyssa and Ariana. <laughs> wow. That yeah, first one, beautiful. The detail and like the lighting on that first one. I know, oh my, my eye shot right there. I love the third one. There's something that's so calm and beautiful. And I love the, the um, electrical, um, I don't know what they're called, but I love that. I just love the star. I love that one is the mutedness of it is so touching to me. I love it. So nice. Really. Yeah, sorry about the names again. They're, they're all backwards. So they're flipped and backwards. Um, wow. All right. Forgive us. Forgive us. Forgive us. <laughs> the third one is, yes, you're right, Katie. You're right. Very Paul. So yes. Maybe we can, these are maybe wonderful. We can travel through these and these will be the, these will be the last two pieces. So, um, I love the close up. Thank you, Brian. It's yeah. really nice to see it this close. This detail is what I really love. This boing. Oh my gosh. There's a little sound effect, I'm assuming. Uh-huh. I love that the sun with the googly eyes meets up with the tail of the Loch Ness monster. Oh, I just noticed the elephant and the gorilla. <laughs> That's great. A lot of layering, a lot of detail. Oh, I love it. I also like how even though the clown is kind of scary, it's not really threatening. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, wow. And the compass that's included down at the bottom. Oh, look at that. And the upside down heart. That's so interesting. With the upside it's down cool. compass. I wonder if you can flip it upside down and it's a beach. I oh. think I think that's what, that's the intent. Ah, uh, okay. That is really yeah. interesting. Are you that. afraid of clowns, Vicente? A little, a little, a little, a little. I, as as an adult, I've learned to I've learned to get past it. But um, I'm a little afraid of clowns. Mm-hmm. I had a really weird experience when I was like twelve. This mm-hmm. guy would not leave me alone at a birthday party because he thought it was funny. Oh my god, that's terrible. But at thirty years um, old, I'm still terrified of the crypt keeper. So. Oh wow. Well. Alyssa says this is rever- they are reversible. Very cool. Oh, so, very cool. Yes, and these are beautiful. These are beautifully done. Oh my gosh! What a great thank artwork. You. Thank Love you. Thank it. you. Round of applause to yes. everyone. Yes, amazing. Um, I hope we all had a fun journey, and I think that uh, what we're gonna do is we uh, are just gonna each name. Uh, a quick favorite um, of the batch. Um, obviously, everyone is a winner. Uh, but um, if you are in the audience would like to pop your favorite in the chat, um, you can feel free to do that too. And I'll just cycle. Um, I'll just cycle through them as we. Uh, if any of you want to talk about anything else, um, we can just open it up here. And, and just to put a, a note out there for all our teachers that are that were involved if you can just send me all the names of your wonderful young artists so I can give them a, a little surprise that would be great so I love these I love them all they're all so amazing and yeah, you know and, and think about like how teachers manage to do this 
you know, virtually, remotely is really just so impressive, you know? Yeah, and for, for those of you um, teachers know, um, we're going to be printing them in a little booklet um, for everyone to distribute to, you know, your, your student artists and, um, and we'll have some copies at Omateo uh, coming soon. So yes. keep an eye out for that. Thank you, Brian, for that. That's a great gift. Thank you. Yeah, and if, if I'm scrolling past any of your favorite songs, just feel free to shout it out. Uh, Katie says There's she loves the Katie. digital and hand-drawn mashup. Yep. There are a couple of those, weren't there? I think so. Yeah, yeah. Here's another one. Like this is another one with the springs. Mm -hmm. This is one of my favorites. Snoop. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. The Huggies out of control. <laughs> love it. This one is so, I like this one a lot. It makes me uncomfortable, but I really like this one a lot. I well, agree. That, that broken heart at the top. Mm -hmm. It's supposed to make us uncomfortable. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. This one also makes me uncomfortable. Yes. In a good way, right? Yeah, I mean, I I hope that no one takes it as me uh, as me being mean about your artwork. This is it makes me no, it's... Way, just because it makes me think, what is going? Mm -hmm. That's They're good art. Deep. So I think a little uncomfort is intentional. Yes, well, that's good art, right, Dana? Like, when yeah. you think it makes you think. It gives your reaction, right? So good stuff. definitely, now, opening up has to be one of my favorites. Mm -hmm. Love it. I do like what's the your favorite. I like this. What's idea. your favorite uh, flavor of donut? My favorite flavor of donut. Yeah, it's everyone's favorite flavor question. of donut. Because I love lemon cream donuts, and I also really love peanut sticks. Mm. Peanut sticks are my favorite. Yes. Brian, we're gonna be really good friends outside here. <laughs> I, I like Boston cream. Oh. Love me some Boston cream. I didn't figure that for you because you're from New York, and that's oh one. well, you know, just yeah, I don't know. I can <laughs> I can forget about Boston <laughs> for that donut. <laughs> <laughs> what about I, just you, had, I just had my first uh, cream filled peanut. Oh, in Paula's. very good. Because otherwise, I always thought peanut donuts were super dry. Oh, how dare but you! <laughs> you gotta fill them. You gotta fill a donut. <laughs> yeah. I, I like the classic chocolate dip. So. Oh, and it's classic. Yes. I should I should mention that this is you know it's making me think of a donut, but it's actually a glowing tree, if I remember correctly in your description, uh, Tracy. Yes. Is that a cutout too? That's cut out, isn't it? Or is that paint? It's hard to tell. Is that just in the middle? It looks like it's cut out, but maybe it's not. Maybe it's just how it's drawn. I don't think it's just drawn that way. I like it's like a shadow here. here. Really cool. Tracy's art made us hungry. Yep. Ah, digital printed and then acetate with acrylic. Mm -hmm. I see. Wow. See, I knew it. Beautiful. And this is really just stunning too. The way this is put together. Absolutely. Yeah, these are wonderful. Is this your favorite, are. Michelle? I have a lot of favorites. It's really <laughs> me. This is one of them for sure. Yeah, you know? this is definitely really, um, really well done. Yes, beautiful. Nicely, nicely done. A lot of wonderful craftsmanship in this one. You know? Yeah, and this detail with the background transition. Yeah. Great work. And I want to know if Michelle, there's um, symbolism to the leaf that's in the hand, or is it just happens to be part of the just general design? The way it's being held just makes me think it's symbolic of something. So, oh, hi, Tori. One of the oh, Tori's one of the here. artists. Hey, is that her piece, Michelle? That the one that I'm asking about? The sure. one on the bottom, I think. Tori wants to put in the chatter. I think you could unmute yourself if you wanted to. Just questioning whether or not those leaves 
the leaves are symbolic in a way, the way she's holding it. So it's just interesting to me, or is it just part of the design? And then if you wanna type it or just say it, whatever works as we put Tori on the spot, poor thing. <laughs> <laughs> no worries, we can, we, can, we can get back. Yes, yes. Um, but uh, yeah, great work. Nice uh, job. I like this one a lot too. I, I, like I that, really do. I like that it ends very abruptly at the bottom. Mm-hmm. Small leg. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And the tail, wow. Mm-hmm. Can you imagine having a tail growing out of your calf? Terrible. <laughs> Michelle says she puts her on the spot often, so she's, <laughs> she should be used to it, <laughs> Tori. <laughs> I love this one too. I, I do like this one a lot. They're all good. Okay. They're just great. They're great. I can admire this one again. Yeah, I will have to get a higher resolution copy of this from Mitch. Mm -hmm. a lot though. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and I'm, I'm impressed with the dance students that did this because this is yeah. not, you know, that's not their, mm -hmm. their, you know, expert area. But they did a great job putting this yeah. kind of together. Um, really I, I think this is, this is one of my favorites. Mm -hmm. um, I love the, the composition of it. It's really kind of really simple, but dramatic in this cloud. Mm -hmm. that's behind um behind the head and you know like i mentioned before the the shape of the cone and the mm -hmm. oh those are hearts in the mm -hmm. in the bag i'm just noticing and Alyssa said that she noticed there are a lot of interesting knees in all of the drawings <laughs> yes <laughs> yeah it's not something you think about often right drawing knees it is interesting you're right and that's what this did, right? Because everything's compartmentalized, right? Like you have mm. this piece. So how do you look at that? I look at it differently. Mm -hmm. This one disturbs me too. I have to be honest with you. It's just this. It seems happy when you the one before that. It seems happy when you look at it, and then, and then you see that it may not be. There's some underlying, like anger in here, and this nice soft. When you first look at it, it's very interesting. <laughs> this one makes me happy. I don't know. <laughs> this one was actually the one that that um, that bothered me a little. Oh, and, really? And only because she she's off to the left hand uh, like portion of the frame. Mm -hmm. There's nothing else going on on the the next two thirds. And for me, it's just like there's a lot of emptiness here. And is she dancing alone? Is she practicing for herself? And it made me think about people who like really really harp on on their skill or on their craft and they just I, it made me think of a dancer who's been dancing for hours in the same like in the same setting mm -hmm. dancing to win i mm -hmm. suppose the yeah. crown right mm -hmm. this one like dancing in the streets <laughs> everyone's gonna be doing that soon yeah and these finally, and these are beautiful yeah. Untitled, I mean, the, uh, the, la the exquisite landscape is probably the favorite out of all of it. Yeah, these are beautiful. I just want to see more of them. Like, yeah. I just love the idea of it. The concept of it is amazing. Yeah, it's great. Different styles. Yeah. Our, well, our students and teachers rock, right? They're great. Yeah. So, yeah, congratulations again, everyone. Um, I don't know if our... Um, Sente or Dana or Michelle, you have anything else to add? Um, but I think we had a lot of fun um, just gabbing over over some uh, some really interesting pieces. So thank you again for joining us. Thank you yes. so much for having us. Yeah, thank you so much. And Vicenta, thank you for coming on and Dana for coming on. I, I'm so happy that you joined us. I know it was last minute and <laughs> I thank you for that. And, um, you know, whenever you need me, let me know. And uh, I appreciate your, your voice in this. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. And for those of you who couldn't make it, I know we're gonna put it on YouTube on the Buffalo Public Schools 
um, YouTube um, site. And uh, if you want, Brian, you can have a link to that and share it on your website. And, and uh, thank you so much for this great opportunity. It was, it was wonderful. This was fun. Yeah. It was fun. Yeah. Thank you. Um, and uh, I hope you all enjoy the rest of the day. We still have like another hour and a half of sunshine. So. Yay. Enjoy. Enjoy. All right. Thanks, Happy everyone. Art. See you later. Thank you, everybody. Great job, everybody. Thank you. Hi, everyone.